BackgammonGalaxy.com presents Backgammon Pro Analysis Okay, 2-1. Oh, this is a hypergammon position. I call these ones hypergammon positions since basically the game will is just three checkers moving. That's all that's left in this game. And hypergammon positions are highly tactical. So we need to be sure of the, the numbers here. I'm very sure that we should not stay here six pips away from our opponent. We need to move this checker. What about the race? Okay, we're going to have an even race after the move, and our opponent's going to be on roll. However, he has a little bit more wastage than us, but not much. It's pretty close race. But he's definitely a favorite since he will have the direct shot however we move. And he has a slight race advantage as well since it's even pips and he's on roll. Um, so I want to begin by moving the ace because here we get, we're going to get a direct shot if he rolls 6, 4, 6, 3, 6, oh, six 2, and 6, 1. And what about 4, 2 as well? 4, 3. Yeah, 4, 5, and 4, 1 is hitting, obviously. What about the 3s? The 3s he can play from here. Uh, 3, 2, yeah. 3, 1. Yeah, that's the numbers that leave a direct shot. So that's. 6, 8, 10, 12 numbers. A total of 12 numbers that leaves a direct shot if we make this ace and move the deuce here. However, this deuce is a little bit bad for the race, actually. So if we do like this, oh, if we move this deuce instead, we're better off. This would be maximizing our race equity. But here, now we're making a smaller number good. We prefer actually duplicating his good racing numbers, which are the high numbers. But we do also decrease the number of hitters. So there's a balance here where we want to get some return shot on him, and we don't want to give him too many hitting shots. Uh, it could be that you also have this play. Okay, so let's see. That if, we, if we were on the 17 point, it was 12 numbers that our opponent left us a shot with. Okay, let's count now that we're on the 16 point. So again, 6... Three, six, two, six, one. Oh, we get some fives here. Five, three, five, two, five, one. Uh huh. What about the fours? The fours are gonna hit. That's not. <laughs> that's not something we're happy about. Uh, so the fours are no good. What about the threes? Three, one will hit. Three, two can be played from here. So that's it. Okay, that's it. So how many was this? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. Also 12. Okay, so it's the same number of shots that we get. However, we maximize our race here because we played a more racing efficient ace and we got a little bit closer to home on the 16 point run than the 17 point. So I think I prefer this move over the, the other move. Oh, then we have this play here. Let's count the numbers that leaves us a shot. It's six one, six two. That's it. And then the f some fives, five two, five one. And the fours. Aha! Uh -huh, we also get some fours. Four two, four one. So that's two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Another move that le twelve rolls leaves us a direct shot here. Um, we get closer to home, which is better for the race. Um, however, we duplicate a lower number, or we, we give a, a hitting shot on a lower number, a 3, rather than a 4, whereas we prefer to, that he were to u duplicate his high numbers to be hitting numbers, because if, for instance, if we were, could be here on the midpoint, on the 13 point, it would be the, his worst racing number that all of a sudden become really good because it hits. It's the same principle here, even though it's a small detail from going from a 4 that hits to a 3 that hits. Um, there is also some racing efficiency by playing this ace over here. I think I'm, this is difficult because it's super tactical. I'm not sure what the right play, but I think I have a preference for this move. Let's see. Oh, I 
found the best play. This one was tricky. Okay. Number two was this one. Number three was this one. Number four was this one. Yeah, this is the worst play. This is a blunder to stay on the 18 point. Backgammon Pro Analysis. Backgammongalaxy.com. Play among the stars. <laughs>